girl actually had the audacity to block me like girl you should have been one like i should have been blocking you girl it's your fave just days and i am back with another video as you can tell by the title of this video it's going to be a get ready with me kind of just like a chit chat get ready with me because y'all have been asking where i've been what i've been doing why i'm hiding when i'm coming back so we're gonna address all of that today on top of probably a bunch of other random stuff so this video will be all over the place but we're gonna end with the beat face now if you are new to my channel hi my name is deja or just Dej, Dej whatever and welcome to my channel you guys we get a pop in here so make sure you give me a like a comment or a subscribe i would love that so let's just get right into the video don't mind my shirt it's like matte busted this is actually the shirt that i'd be dying my hair in so i'm not dirty it's dirty there's gonna be a lot of stuff going on in this video so i suggest y'all go ahead and grab y'all a drink sit down with your girl and let's talk let's have some some girl chat i'm gonna show y'all what i'm drinking on so i'm gonna show y'all my favorite wine that's what i'm gonna sip on today comment down below what y'all sipping on if y'all sipping on something if y'all smoking on something this is a really bomb moscato y'all like this moscato is so fire cheers Okay, now let's get into this beat and this tea. If you watched my last video, then you know that I just got back from Tulum, Mexico. If you haven't watched that video, make sure you go and check it out, okay? Your girl was lit. I'm officially 25 and need a cane. Like, what? So, I just put my brows on. I'm about to go in with my P. Louise base, and this is in the color Rumor 6, and I'm gonna use this to carve out my brows. So, I have been off of YouTube for like three months, and in YouTube views, that's like YouTube days or whatever. I don't know. So, it's been quite some time. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all see a lot of Tulum vlogs. Um, Tulum is Avi in Mexico, and it has been like going nuts this year. A lot of people have been traveling there, um, and I definitely see why. Tulum is definitely like an up and coming city right right now, um, and I honestly cannot wait to see what it's looking like over there in the next year or so. Now, I know as of now, you actually don't need a COVID test for Mexico, so I feel like that's why it's such a hot spot right now, but y'all, it was so many of of us <laughs> so many of us in Tulum like y'all um, it was so lit it was so many of us in Tulum like it was a lot and it was it was nothing short of amazing wouldn't change nothing I was lit I was turned like I was doing my thing now in addition to that I've also been to NOLA this year I've been to Arizona this year I have just been doing like a lot this year I'll actually be doing another travel vlog I'll be in Atlanta next month those videos be lit on YouTube and I've already been once but now I'm really gonna turn up just because of that. When it comes to the where I've been question, girl, that's where I've been. I've been traveling, I've been moving, I have been doing so much stuff. I actually recently, you guys, just got my own place, my own apartment, and I'm actually gonna do a, um, oh, this look crazy. I'm gonna do an empty house tour. I'm gonna do um, a fully furnished house tour. As you can see, this is not my beauty room. That's kind of where I used to see me like recording stuff. What? My beauty room is no longer. It is now the bathroom. <laughs> I think I need another foundation color because it is getting cold outside and girl, I'm gonna have to blend the crap out of this. I moved in in August and that's kind of like when my channel was going up from my story times and stuff and um, it was just a lot going on. So I wasn't even able to like make videos and stuff and once I actually moved, that's when I started traveling and girl. But we ain't gonna make excuses we just gonna get it together I'm, I'm really excited to talk to y'all really like about that too i feel like that would be like its own separate girl talk because yeah i will say that living on my own has been a lot different i feel like it's kind of giving me the motivation to do everything that i should have been doing um not that i wasn't doing anything but i feel like maybe i just wasn't doing enough and i was like more distracted but now i literally have nothing but time Counting to myself to work on myself and I am enjoying it the adjustment has been crazy but I definitely feel liberated I feel 
you know, happy or feel grateful that I'm a boss ass bitch. So I even told myself for Christmas this year, I'm still gonna put my tree up and under there, there's gonna be a gift from me to me. And it's gonna say that I'm a bad bitch because that's what it is. Period. So I'm kind of going on this journey, um, a much needed journey, kind of just like, you know, knowing myself or relearning myself what I like, what I really don't like, things like that. Now that I'm kind of like getting older, y'all, I am 25, I'm 25, and there's so much stuff I want to do by 30, and I just feel like in the midst of me having fun, I still kind of want to like just buckle down and get, and get some things right, you know? But like, y'all, I feel good. I feel like can't nobody tell me nothing. I feel like, I feel like you feel me. What? Can't nobody tell me nothing at all. I just feel like, girl, I don't know. I'm just feeling good. And I have been on it lately. I have been on it. I've been trying to post on my Instagram and stuff. So make sure y'all follow me. Um, I've been trying to do that. Um, I'm working on expanding my business. And I'm actually going to do a wig raffle i want to do a wig like raffle like size giveaway on my channel very soon but other than that i do have another giveaway coming that's going to be um sponsored by this black owned business called 21st avenue it is an amazing business and eh, girl they have some cute stuff so i'm going to be giving y'all that and letting y'all know what's tea on some products i would love if y'all would comment down below and let me know if y'all would like a um video on um moving out or like finances or how to how to move out um if y'all want tips on it let me know in the comments below if that's something y'all be interested in because i would actually really love to make a video like that that would be bomb. as y'all know um everybody's pretty much like back on lockdown um i live in minnesota and we actually have a curfew and stuff like right now so all the gyms are closed, the restaurants are closed, like everything is pretty much closed. But I had told myself that after Mexico, I was really going to start like working out again and eating healthy and like all that stuff. There's also like a gym in my building, so that was like easy, like I had no excuse, right? Whole time, just yesterday, they definitely closed it and I'm staying in. Like at this point, y'all, I'm ready to get a BBL. I'm ready to lay on somebody's table and just going on with the going on. That brings me to the next topic I want to talk about. Like I said, this video is like mad random, so just keep up with me. That brings me to my next topic. I am really considering like getting one, like before next summer, okay? I'm really, really considering doing that. And I want to know what y'all think about that i really want to know what y'all think about surgery i want to know if y'all are pro surgery if y'all are pro workout um or like what y'all outlooks are on that me i'm pro do what the fuck you want because that's just what i'm gonna do at the end of the day okay i'm rocking and rolling alone on even matter i know that in our generation like in this day and time that is kind of like the thing you know that's kind of like the thing to do and People who haven't even had kids yet are gonna be BBLs. People who haven't even fully developed and really gotten like their their woman, you know, their grown up body and like stuff like that, it's gonna start. The only cosmetic surgery I've had is like my boobs. I did get like a breast reduction, and y'all, that was a whole trip. That was a whole thing, but I don't regret it at all. I literally love my boob size now. If you have had surgery, whether it be like a BBO or whatever surgery, let me know in the comments below. I'm all up in y'all business. Let me know what's going on. Okay, y'all, my concealer was tripping, so I had to reapply that. So I'm just gonna put me on like a little bit of eyeshadow and go on about my business. Now, and I feel like a lot of people, when they think of like BBO, I think about surgery, I feel like they automatically kind of go into this thing where they feel like um, people are insecure or acting insecure or, you know, just can't love themselves enough to just like love like their body. And I don't know, it's just that I don't, I don't really, it's hard for me to look at it like that. I just feel like with all the stuff going on, in the world, even before then, I feel like you should always do what makes you happy and what makes you feel good. I wanna look like, I wanna look good and naked, like period, when I'm looking at myself in the mirror. Okay, when I get off the shower, like, it's 
the body for me. I know that I actually just seen on the shade room today, speaking of, Regina Carter, Wheezy F daughter. She, you know, got her boobs done and a lot of people was criticizing her because they said that she said she wouldn't do certain things when she was younger. I feel like it's just, I feel like it's just different now. And I feel like people shouldn't continue to judge people on the decisions that they choose to make. Um, like, I just like, if you got the coins to do it, do it. A lot of people was giving her, um, a lot of people was giving her shit on the shade room. And I feel like a lot of people was trying to compare that to like the whole Lucci situation, trying to say that like she trying to keep her man, like all type of shit like that. And like, that's another thing, like relationships in this generation are nuts. It's literally nuts. Like relationship goals, it's just crazy how real people make them. Like I'm personally not like a, a strong believer in relationship goals. Like ain't nobody my fucking relationship goals. Um, I mean, I'll be my own fucking relationship goals because at the end of the day, everyone has things going on in the background. So I feel like that's kind of like unfair to do. Again, I'm ranting. Cause at the end of the day, Ain't nobody trying to impress no man. At the end of the day, a nigga is, is still gonna fuck, okay? No matter what you look like, and that's facts. So I'm going in with my Sacha Buttercup powder. And I really wanna try the Laura Mercier. Um, I heard that it's like very similar to this. I had the Laura Mercier, but um, she just came out with one in the color Honey um, that I think are probably like better fit for me, for my skin tone. Um, and it's very similar to this, so I really wanna try that. I'll probably go and buy that. I'll probably do like a Sephora, like, um, kind of like a Sephora haul and like stuff that I buy because in addition to like the whole body thing and like changing my life and like moving out, in addition to all that stuff, I really have just been trying to get like more feminine, you know, just like more girly, just like, you know, doing my makeup more because doing my makeup makes me feel absolutely gorgeous. And, um... Girl, just like dressing up. I had seen this post and it said, um, don't save your best clothes for like an occasion. Always wear your best clothes because that's how you get familiar with being bad, like being that bitch, you feel me? And I thought that was so dope. Like, like that's literally facts. When you dress good and you look good every day and you, you know, do stuff that makes you feel good, you're gonna naturally go and feel good all the time. And that's just something I'm trying to get into. So I've been trying like a lot of different like skin products. Um, I actually have um, some stuff that I wanna show y'all. I actually have a promo code for this amazing, amazing facial brush that I have been using that has my skin like beautiful. And I really wanna show y'all. So I'll probably end up uploading a video like that this week. So in addition to that girl, like I have just been, I've been at Bath and Body Works like crazy. I went nuts and spent like $80 on candles the other day. Okay, just for smell goods, I'll be lighting them joints when I'm in the tub, smoking my little hookah. I've actually been investing in a lot of scents as well. So I have so many like bomb smelling perfumes I just bought. Um, I have some Marc Jacobs, I got some Dior. Um, I got some YSL. I have like, girl, I'm going nuts. I'm not playing. Like, I'm so excited to open a new chapter. And I really want to say I can't wait for 2021, but that shit might be worse than 2020. So I ain't gonna say that, but I'm gonna say that I'm looking forward to a fresh start and a change. But yeah, after that whole rant, the whole point is body positivity, don't be insecure, do what you wanna do. Don't let nobody judge or talk you out of doing what you wanna do. Don't let society create your norms and don't look up to nobody from no relationship goals. Change is okay and wanting better for yourself, wanna be more feminine and loving on yourself is a real thing. Cause I'm self caring like a mug. I ain't even gonna cap. Let me get the massages. I really want to get a facial. I have yet to have a facial, so I'll definitely vlog when I get my first facial. But girl, I have been loving on me. I have been taking care of me. That's all I can say, bro. I need my lashes done so bad. Like I be looking hella cock ass <laughs> when one lash is balder than the other one. This is a no for me. Plus that um. It's just time for them to be done. I actually am gonna do a Christmas photo shoot. So I'm really excited about that. Let me know if y'all like me to vlog that. Um, Cause I think I will. I'm really excited about that. Like y'all, I'm starting to feel like a real influencer around here. Like, they, you know they have photo shoots and shit every day. I'm just trying to step my game up. Like I'm trying to put y'all on, step my game up and just like do better. Can you focus on me? Since we're talking about relationship goals, I 
know that y'all have been seen on the internet the whole world is literally shook at this whole thing with dk4l girl i was shook i found out about that in mexico me and my friends was going nuts like it was just i couldn't believe it like we was literally shook it so um here is my thoughts and opinion on that whole situation. Y'all need to let some people be. <laughs> because at the end of the day, yes, that man is engaged and he's wrong as the fuck for doing what he did. You feel me? He's wrong as the fuck. And everyone and everybody's like, oh, Diara's so bad. And you know, she, you know, she carries DK4 and all that stuff. And all that may be true. But that nigga clearly didn't give a fuck. Like, girl, y'all gotta understand. We out here dealing with full-blown city boys. Full blown city boys, they do not care about none of that. Not a ring, not a nothing. Okay, <laughs> but I feel like, you know, their whole brand is based off their relationship. Like, obviously, their whole brand is people wanna travel like them and, you know, be their, like, they're their relationship goals because they've been together so long and like all this stuff. So, you know, shit, people invest in it, it kind of sucks. And, um, I don't know. I don't feel like they're gonna break up. They're definitely not gonna break up. I mean, they're engaged, and on top of that, they they top tier, like top dog YouTubers. Like they're literally the Beyonce and Jay Z of YouTube. There's no way they're breaking up. No way. But I'll tell you what. The minute that they drop a video, that shit is gonna get over a million views in like a fucking hour or some shit. I'm calling it now. Ken did the fucking most. If that was my nigga, what he'll be paying on me he would be paying for all that shit a lot of people are trying to say that they feel like they got an open relationship because they've been together so long and like all that stuff but i don't know i don't feel like we ever gonna know they've been mad quiet about it i know that diara is stay she shorty stay posting her look um her sponsors and companies that she worked with and stuff she ain't stopping for no nigga and that i fuck with now, if she decides to stay with him, I'm not gonna judge this because at the end of the day, I feel like that's all she know, you feel me? That's like all she know. And I feel like she gonna make him pay for that shit, but they're engaged, like, come on now. Like, and they travel together like crazy. Like, traveling is a love language, okay? That is a love language. And I don't feel like they gonna give all that up. So, I'm saying all that to say, this is why can't nobody be. Your relationship goes, you gotta be your own relationship goes. Cause everybody swore up and down. He would never and this and that. And they were a perfect couple and all that stuff. But everybody got stuff going on, you know, in the background. Ken better get it together. He better get it together. But it kind of just sucks that that's kind of like the times and like the generation that we live in because, mm, I don't know, hurt people be hurting people. Shit, hurt people hurt happy people. <laughs> So it's just, it's crazy, but I honestly wish them nothing but the best. I actually love DK4L, um, and I respect them for not putting their business all up on the internet and shit for people to judge and all that, but because they're such big YouTubers, they're going to have to address that. So, um, I guess we'll see what happens. Um, I don't know. Oh my God, y'all. I cannot see over these big blinks. I don't even know what I'm calling. So now that I'm almost done with my makeup, I'm actually just gonna go ahead into my last tech story time, last tech story time part two. It's not really much to talk about, like too, too much, but it was just, it was ghetto. Y'all already know that I thought it was ghetto from the jump though. So pretty much, um, like I was telling y'all in the video, I never actually received my um, my lash kit. You have to obviously look at my my uh, last videos you know what I'm talking about but I actually didn't even receive y'all my um I didn't even receive my lash kit I didn't even receive my like my lash tray or whatever I know she had a whole attitude to my lash kit lash tray girl lash whatever but anyways I ended up inboxing her and basically what she told me was that my stuff got lost in the mail and a lot of other people's stuff got lost in the mail she told me that I was basically being rude to her because I guess I kind of was because y'all, I was just, I was so over. I'm like, girl, just send me my shit. Like, at this point, send the whole kit back. Like, she basically was telling me, I told her I really didn't feel like I learned nothing in the class. Like, I didn't fuck with it. And she basically was just saying like, oh, well, you didn't catch on quick enough, this and the third. Y'all, just talking like a bunch of bullshit. Like, I don't even care about the shit enough to talk about it. This for y'all. <laughs> just talking out the side of her neck and Pretty much she ended up um, like apologizing and stuff because I just saw her I was really upset. Like, girl, I'm out here taking classes during COVID. You ain't sending me my stuff. I done paid this money for a class. Like, 
it was just way too much. So she actually didn't end up apologizing after after she tried tried to jack on y'all with sis, y'all online sis after the fact. But I don't know, we got all squared away. Y'all already know I got text messages, and I ain't even gonna read them. It don't even matter. She was just like too young. Um, but anyways, she did end up fixing it, fixing the problem, and she ended up just like sending me and my sister um new lash trays. Um, but my whole like my whole thing was just the time. I literally took that class in the summertime. I uploaded that video like almost four months ago, and I'm just getting my lash trays or whatever last month, October. And I took that class in the summertime. Like, we need to have a talk on professionalism because, baby, mm, it was too much. So she ended up sending me my trays, but it's just funny to me because literally, y'all, right after the fact, this girl blocked me. After like trying to apologize and like do all that stuff and sending me extra lash trays, this girl actually had the audacity to block me. Like, girl, you should have been one. Y'all, like, I should have been blocking you. I just wanted my stuff. But professionalism is a huge thing, y'all. Like cool like if something got lost like fam but like i feel like y'all you gotta communicate you knew something got lost or didn't get here and didn't even say nothing she was taking days to message me back y'all mm, mm, it was too much it was just too much so with that being said i learned my lesson with nail techs hairstylists and lash techs i've learned my lesson okay i now have a full like team well not team but i have like I got a glam squad basically. I got a I got a glam squad and I ain't switching it up. Like at all. These are people that I trust, that I've been to, that are reliable at the moment. <laughs> and yeah. I am not going to nobody else that I don't know. I'm not traveling a lot of town for no class. I'm not doing looking at nothing without no reviews. Nothing. Cause it was just like an awful complete mess that could have been a hundred percent of what it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put on my lip gloss i'm gonna change my outfit and i'm gonna go ahead and close out this video so i will be right back okay you guys i'm sorry don't mad my vent it's like i don't know how to get it to turn off but anyways you guys this is my finishing look period <laughs> I feel hella cute. I'm actually about to go outside and get a couple things um, like for my tree and to put um, my like my lights and stuff up. So I'm actually going to be vlogging. That's why I like kind of got like cute and I have to take like some Instagram pictures. So yeah, but anyways, y'all, I know this video was literally all over the place, but I'm rusty. I'm a little rusty. It's been a couple months, okay? It's been a couple of months, but I'm so excited to be back. I literally cannot wait. Literally cannot wait to start posting like some new content. I'm gonna start focusing on like a different type of content on my page other than like story times and stuff. I already told y'all in these other videos, I am not a story time channel. So pretty much that's like my thoughts and opinions on like relationships, relationship goals, BBLs, body insecurities um and just a lot of stuff that i have just been seeing lately that's pretty much you know why i did this video um things i've been seeing or things that i've been like going through or whatever the case may be so yeah y'all that is pretty much going to end um this video i'm actually going to do my giveaway in my next video um actually i kind of want to do i kind of want to do it now hold on okay y'all. So i kind of want to do it now because it's super cute and it actually matches my outfit so this is what I'm going to be giving away in my giveaway on top of one or two other things that I want to give y'all. Um, but this is who is sponsoring the giveaway. There is such cute stuff in here, you guys. Um, I'm going to post the giveaway when I post this outfit on my um, Instagram. So be looking out for that because I'm going to put the rules in there and I'm going to give away what's in this box, okay? And y'all, I ain't even going to lie, my camera about to die. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And turn your notification bell so that you can be notified when your girl uploads new videos, you guys. Okay? I'm sorry. I'm rushing. But it's been a dab. I can't put it out. I love y'all so much. And I will see y'all in the next video. Until next time. Peace.